Hello, and welcome to another RSVP Northern Virginia podcast. This is Outreach Specialist Rob Payne, and I'm here today again with Janet and Carly of RSVP. Welcome. Hi, thank you, Rob. Hello. Hey, and uh, we're here to talk about the exciting events we have coming up in July. Uh, this this uh, podcast is probably going to reach most of you by uh, a little bit after July 4th, so we hope everyone had a happy and safe July 4th. Uh, Janet. Janet, uh, let's start off with you. Uh, you've got some interesting things uh, coming up. Could you could you give us a hint of what uh, what's going on? Yeah, RSVP is actually looking for uh, two new individuals. One is an intern, a communications intern, which we're looking at bringing on this fall uh, to help out with our fun and fabulous Rob with getting the word out with RSVP. And we're also looking for a part-time grant writer and administrator who would be doing uh, part-time administering the RSVP grant and part-time writing grants for Volunteer Fairfax. Carly, I know we've got a busy month coming up on your end. Could you talk about some of the uh, special projects and events you have going? Yeah, so first I'll highlight our Bocce Lunch and Learn. It'll actually be in August, August 2nd from 11 to 1 at Greenacre Senior Center. We will be outside, hopefully, if it's not raining, by the Bocce Pits, and there's picnic tables. So we'll have a fun little picnic and Bocce demonstration. Um, so it'll be a good time to come out, learn about RSVP, but also learn about bocce. <laughs> uh, what else is going on uh, around around the area with RSVP? Yeah, so another great opportunity is with Northern Virginia Family Services. They are in need of volunteers for multiple days in the beginning of August uh, to help with their back-to-school drive. So they collect school supplies for low-income kids across Northern Virginia and then put together backpacks for them when school gets started. Um, so they're packing over 2,000 backpacks, so they'll take oh, all the help they can get. That's fantastic. <laughs> now, I understand you've got a couple of orientation, I, I'm sorry, information sessions coming up. Yes, we do. Um, both in July will be, the first will be July 17th at 3.30 at the Lorton Regional Library. And then the second will be July 31st at 10.30 in the morning at the Kingstown Library. That's great. Okay, and then, uh, wait a minute, I think I hear... I think I hear the meal truck driving up. Could it be? Could it be? Uh, what's our volunteer close-up about this this month? Um, so Rob did an excellent job of profiling Pat Dubois, um, one of our excellent volunteers with Meals on Wheels of Arlington. Um, so she is a pretty regular volunteer with them. I think pretty much every week she is out delivering meals. Um, Serving six to twelve clients every day, which is fantastic. She does, and oh, wait a minute, wait for it. I think I hear the cash register. She also, she also is involved with the um, Vita Cash program, where uh, a program that helps um, folks in Northern Virginia get ten million dollars—a total of ten, <laughs> not one person. <laughs> I'll sign me up for that. But ten million dollars in in, uh, in tax refunds last year, and she puts a lot of time into that. <laughs> the other big news we've got going July. July 24th. What's going on July 24th in Arlington? We have Arlington Cares, which is Volunteer Arlington's um, volunteer appreciation event, which is super exciting. It's going to take place from 530 to 730 and at the National Rural Electric Co cooperative Association in Arlington. I hear it's an absolutely beautiful building. And at this event, we'll be highlighting um, Janet Garber, who is an RSVP volunteer with NVSO. She has been active with them for many, many years and does some really amazing things on their board. That's right. And talking about the NVSO, what a funny coincidence. <laughs> uh, Carly, uh, Carly's leading the volunteer effort there. She's uh, very successful again. But we still have some some openings. The Olympics start up September 15th, 2018, but we're still looking for some more volunteers, so contact Carly about that. So, and, and folks are able to attend that event, right? The Arlington. Absolutely. Okay. The uh, Arlington Cares event is free, and it really highlights all the fantastic volunteer opportunities um, and people that are doing some great things around Arlington. 
We, uh, we want to thank everybody for all the folks who came out to our free photography volunteer workshop at Greenspring in June. We really had a great turnout. It was so successful and we got such good feedback. We're actually thinking about doing a part two. So if anyone has any specific ideas on what they'd like to learn more about photography or, or for that matter, any other topic you're interested in that we could do a workshop on, please let us know. And talking about art... I understand we have a new uh, workstation work partner down in Lorton. Yes, the Workhouse Art Center has recently become an RSVP partner, so we will be able to help them out with all of their kind of one-time opportunities throughout the year. That's fantastic. And uh, Janet, you want to tell us about another another very big work partner that just signed up with us just in the last few weeks. Yes, uh, Food for Others, uh, which is the largest food bank in the Fairfax County region has signed up to be a workstation with RSVP. We're really excited uh, to partner with Nikki Clifford and her staff. And so um, look for a group service project coming soon in August. And if you are an early riser on Sunday morning, be sure to listen to any of your wonderful iHeart radio stations in the D.C. area. The Sunday after July 10th, which I want to say is July 14th, I think, uh, our own Janet Davison will be featured uh, with one of our outstanding NVSO athletes and Angela Starling, a volunteer Fairfax on iHeartRadio. It airs between usually 6 and 8, and we're really excited about that. I also want to give a quick shout-out to our friends at the Fairfax County Park Authority. They continue to be wonderful uh, partners, and uh, if you haven't seen the latest video podcast uh, with... um, with Darlene from uh, Sully Historic Site. Uh, Please check that out on the website. Uh, You'll you'll get some interesting ideas on on, uh, what type of volunteer opportunities are available out in uh, Sully out on Route 28. For, uh, for anyone who's interested in learning more about any of these activities, orientations, whether you're new to RSVP or you're just hitting the senior volunteer field, Carly, what can they do? Well, they can call me at 703-403-5360. Uh, they can send me an email at rsvp at volunteerfairfax.org. And definitely check out the website, which is rsvpnova.org. Uh, The newsletter is up there, all the great links to all these awesome opportunities. And also be sure to check out our website because our fantastic volunteers have done some really great improvements to our website to make it easier and better to look at. They really have. Both Joel and Dag. Dag is uh, currently interning with us, and they've just done a fantastic job of of taking our website to the next level. And we hope that 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 makes it easier for people to follow and use. And we've got some other exciting social media opportunities coming up soon, so please keep an eye on that. And again, uh, the the, uh, best number to call, 703-403-5360. Please always keep that on your redial. Uh, We're always interested in hearing what you have to say. And we want to thank everybody. And uh, again, keep cool out there it's it's a hot july this is washington and but we really appreciate everything y'all do and and we hope to hear from you soon um and have a great day okay stay cool rsvpers and and we've just gotten carly and and janet back in from the parking lot you you all (laughs) you all want to yeah you do your farewell for this podcast Bye, RSVP. Hope to see you soon. Bye, RSVPers. All right. Take care, y'all. We'll talk to you soon.